Hi everyone, it's Neil here from Nerdio. I'm from a very wet and windy Manchester. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about um, Azure AD single sign-on for, for Azure Virtual Desktop. So um, when Windows Virtual Desktop was released initially, it was quite a, a poor login experience. Um, you actually, actually had to authenticate twice. Um, your first authentication was against the Azure AD service to see if you're legible to access any um, Azure Virtual Desktops. And then the second authentication was against Active Directory, um, where you actually authenticate against the session host, which you're logging on to. Um, luckily, these days, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot better experience because um, we now have the um, Azure AD uh, single sign-on experience, which is what eventually it will take your um, sort of local credentials that you're logged onto your uh, device with, your Azure AD credentials, and just pass them through automatically. Um, so you are well, yeah, not pass them through, but they're actually held locally on the device and they're used um, to log on to the device with. So what we'll do, we'll show you um, how you configure this and we'll show you what the user experience actually looks like. Okay, so let me uh, just swap screens over. Okay, so what you're looking at at the moment is the RDP properties um, within the Azure version desktop portal. And this new setting here is the Azure AD authentication. Okay, and what we can set this to is RDP won't use Azure AD authentication or RDP will attempt to use Azure AD authentication to sign in. So this is the one that we're gonna pick. And what this essentially means is that um, when I attempt, um, it's just basically going to use my Azure AD credentials. So let's go on to my device. So here you go. So here I'm logged into a device um, using my um, Azure AD credentials. And I'm just going to connect to a desktop and see what the experience is like. Okay, so let's pick this desktop. So this is the one that I configured. So I'm going to select that. Give it a second. Ba, ba, ba. It's going to ask, it's going to find the account that I'm logged on with. It's going to ask me for what the, the password is. So I'm just going to put in. So this is only the first time, by the way. So we'll show you what he logged on to. He's asking me for my authentication code. So I'm just going to get that for you. One second. Uh, one, seven. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Um, so this is the new feature. So allow access to remote desktop connection. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to click that. Yes. Okay. So that's going to log me onto the, the desktop. Okay. So we're going to that many. Then we're just then going to log off. And I'm just going to show you what the experience is like once we've done that first um, initial connection. So just let that do the, the log on. Welcome, thank you very much. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna sign into my desktop. Okay, so I'm just gonna log off. So let me just go to here and I'm just gonna sign out. Okay. Do, do, do. Come on, Mr. FS Logics. Okay, all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sign out of my device. Sign out. And then we're going to sign back in again. Okay, so let me sign back in there. So put back in there. Okay. It's a pretty picture of me. He's logging me back in. I'm going to launch the remote desktop client. Remote desktop client. Okay, come on. Remote desktop. Why are you not loading? Remote desktop clients. Open. Okay. Then we're going to pick the desktop. Okay. So let's go back into here. Put 
and we should look to stay so, there you go so you can see the first time that we went in obviously we had to set up if you're not but now that we've actually put the credentials in once it's gonna it's gonna save those credentials essentially okay so it means that i don't have to be authenticated again i can just log on to desktop double click the icon and go straight through okay okay so that's it that's all i had to show you today um i hope you, you found that demo useful and just to show you the capability that we can do now so no more annoying prompts no more annoying passwords um obviously the first time you have to do it you have to put your credentials in and configure everything the second logon you should just see them as login where you're not prompted for a password because um, we've already done that once it's already stored and it, it just goes straight through okay all right thank you very much cheers until next time